Have you ever started a project before and thought to yourself, this isn't going to turn out very well, uh, but that's okay because this is the first time you're doing anything like this and you'll learn from it? Well, that's kind of how I thought this cable management project was going to go, but it actually turned out way better than I thought it would. And that's basically because I just ripped off Edward Lee and how he cable managed his desk. <laughs> No, but on a serious note though, I did run into a couple of issues uh, that he didn't really cover in his video. So definitely stick around to the end of the video so that you don't run into these same issues yourself. But I gotta say, after this project, this desk turned out great. What is up guys, my name is Theo, and for those of you guys who don't know me, uh, I do a lot of photo and video stuff on this channel, as well as some tech stuff thrown in there every now and then. Uh, so if that is your jam, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, it is much appreciated. So when it comes to cable management videos, uh, like Edward Lee said in his video, I definitely like to watch these types of videos all the time just to see how people are getting creative and, and just really to see how efficient and clean some of these desk setups end up turning out. So when it came to my desk, I was watching all these videos all over again, just doing my research just so I could just so I could really come at it with as much like ammunition as I could. And that's when I ended up stumbling upon Edward Lee's video. And I thought he did the best job for a sit-stand desk uh, like I have myself. Now he's using a different branded, more expensive standing desk. I ended up just going with uh, the fully Jarvis legs and I ended up getting my own butcher block top from Home Depot and got that stained and looking just the way I wanted it and drilled that into the legs. So going into this, I already knew cable management was gonna be pretty tough for a desk that doesn't really have cabinets or, or drawers really much to really hide these cables. And that's kind of what led me to Edward Lee's video. Now, as far as the supplies, uh, I did end up picking up that same exact raceway that he used for his desk. Ended up getting the same spray paint uh, he used to spray black for his video. Got a set of screws uh, from Home Depot, a pack of Velcro strips to keep everything together, and even ended up picking up a hot glue gun for an idea that I had that ended up kind of turning into a problem, but I'll get into that in a, in a minute. <laughs> so now when it comes to this raceway, I think this is kind of like the biggest part about how to keep a stand or sit stand desk as clean as we got ours to look. Like I said before, you can't really hide any cables behind really anything. So you have to kind of run all these cables into this raceway to keep it as neat and as tidy as possible. This was the biggest and most important thing that made this cable management project possible. Now for me in my desk, since I am using the, the fully drivers, the bars underneath the, the desktop are placed a little bit differently than, than the brand that he used. I think he used like the Ergo or the, not 100% sure. I'll put it right here so you guys know what brand he used, but on his desk it was more kind of centered in the middle of the desk which gave him a little more room in the back side of his desk on the fully desks the the bars kind of run towards the back of the desk so you don't have as much space behind the bars in the back of the desk now if i was doing it exactly the way he did it he had it about an inch away from the edge of the back of the desk which kind of leads me into the first issue that i had that he didn't really cover mainly because he's using an imac and a monitor stand and he's not clamping his monitor to the desk uh, like i am so i couldn't get it as close to the edge as he did and i barely barely had enough space uh, to fit the raceway between the monitor arm and the bars that are in the back underneath the desk. So it was just about exactly two inches and this is a two inch raceway that we used. So I definitely got lucky there and I think it ended up turning out great. The only downside to it is that because it basically was resting up against the bars in the back of the desk, it only left a little bit of room to fit certain cables running from the power strip that I got to fit those cables into the raceway. For the most part, if it's just a normal power cable, it fit fine, but certain power cables can be a little bit thicker. And uh, those are the ones that I kind of had an issue kind of forcing into the raceway just because that space between the raceway and those bars were pretty tight. Now I ended up going with a different search protector than he did, uh, just mainly because uh, I wanted one just a little bit slimmer, a little bit of a smaller footprint because the way that the bars are under the driver's desk, I had to put it towards the front of the desk and I didn't really want it sticking out too much. So I ended up picking up this one right here. It's exactly what I was looking for. He had a lot more plugins and more USBs on his. Uh, I didn't need all that. So this one was kind of the perfect one for my desk setup. Now he recommended in his video uh, that you put your surge protector in front of like a drawer or in front of something so that it kind of prevents people from seeing it. Now on my desk, I don't have a drawer set up at all. So um, I decided just to put it on the right side, on the side of the control panel for the desk. It controls it from going up and down. It's not obviously as big <laughs> as something like a drawer that can black it. Uh, but I think it does make a difference depending on where you're standing. Uh, you don't really notice the wires from underneath it. So just working with what I had, <laughs> I decided to put it on, that, on the same side 
as a control panel. Now the second issue that I ran into that he didn't really cover in his video was, and just in all my research and looking up cable management videos, I've just heard so many things of, of people who are using double-sided tape or 3M tape or mounting tape, whatever you're using. I just heard it falls off, falls off, off, falls off after time. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want that, so I, looking up and all this research that I was doing, I found hot glue was kind of an, a, a more secure alternative that didn't really allow it to fall. So hence the hot glue gun that I bought. Now it turns out I ended up running into that same issue even with the hot glue gun. Didn't really last long at all. And the surge protector ended up falling. And I used to have a uh, CalDigit uh, dock that I had to mount under the desk and I hot glued that right next to the power, uh, power surge. The, the surge protector and both of them ended up falling off. Uh, so I don't know if it's just like the materials that I use to stain and, and poly the desk, um, the desktop, but it they, they both fell off pretty quickly, I might add. So I decided just to kind of go through with uh, a double-sided sticky tape and I ended up just looking up different reviews on Amazon. And I, he, I think Edward Lee ended up using a, like a Scotch brand, but I went with like this T-Rex brand uh, that I found. This one was rated to hold like 50 pounds. I, again, I, I would still see people uh, as comments talking about how these things were falling off. And I looked into the instructions from like this T-Rex website and even like the Scotch website. And I guess we're just doing it wrong and that's why they're falling off. But basically is in Edward Lee's video, he only put two little strips kind of going down like perpendicular to his power, his surge protector and stuck that onto his desk. But from what I've heard, you kind of have to use the majority of the tape and run it basically along the whole object that you're sticking to the wall or under a desk. Now, I didn't really get a shot of this uh, before I did it, uh, but I basically just used two uh, long strips and went along the whole, side, the whole length of the surge protector and stuck that underneath the desk. And it's been a couple of weeks. Um, almost a month and a half maybe, and it still had to fall. I would imagine it would last a little bit longer than that, even if it was just a couple of strips. So we'll see, um, only time will tell. So that was just one of the other issues that I ran into just because I kind of knew of it ahead of time and I was trying to prevent it and ended up still running into the same issue. But yeah, if you are using double-sized sticky tape, the instructions tell you to use a longer strip to the whole length of the object you're sticking to the wall or under a desk. So the next step after replacing that surf protector was just lining all the, all the wires and getting them into that raceway, which was actually pretty easy. I didn't really run into any issues at all. Again, just minus the little gap uh, that's resting against the metal bars under the desk. That part was a little tricky, but for the most part, it ended up working uh, great. And I didn't really have any issues getting all those cables in there. And it's relatively pretty easy to take, to slide the cap of that raceway off to, to add or remove new cables as you add things onto your desk. And then I ended up using a couple of those Velcro strips that I got uh, just to kind of keep some wires together, mainly the wires for my monitor, the ones that are kind of feeding through the monitor arm uh, again just to kind of keep them together so they're not moving around or they're not spread out also I ended up using one to kind of clamp uh, one of the thicker wires that I had to deal with I think it was the wire for the for the desk itself uh, the one for the motors um, I kind of had to wire it behind the the raceway to get it inside the raceway because again that space between the raceway and, and the, the bars along the desk was pretty tight and that one didn't fit so I kind of had to run it through the backside and I kind of just use one of those Velcro ties just to kind of keep it in place and keep it close to against the back of the raceway so it wouldn't stick out as much. Uh, so that really came in handy for that. I ended up having actually a smaller little Velcro strip that I used um, and that was just mainly for my uh, hard drives. Uh, it's not a permanent place that I have them on my desk. Uh, so I just kind of use a little small one to kind of keep them along the back side of the raceway. Eventually I will feed them through the raceway and get some Velcro strips for them and place them under the desk to kind of get them out of sight. But this was just a little solution that I have. I'm currently waiting for the OC OWC or OCW Thunderbolt 4 dock. I ended up pre-ordering one of them and I'm just waiting for that. But once I get that and kind of wire that through the raceway, that's when I plan on uh, rewiring the, the wires for those hard drives and then sticking them under the desk. But I'll cover all that uh, when I finally do a video on my desk setup, uh, which will be coming very soon. One last thing that I did was I used the charging cable for my MX keys uh, and I plugged that into the USB port on the surge protector and I wired that through the raceway and kind of fed the, the extra slack up into the monitor arm and just kind of hide it in the back of the desk uh, when I'm not using it. Just a little kind of trick that I came up with uh, to keep that accessible and be able to hide it at the same time. So that turned out extremely well. Now getting into that last issue that I ran into. Now, I think this is kind of like home specific, but my desk is in a carpeted area 
uh, relatively pretty thick carpet as well. So, and sit stand desks tend to be extremely heavy uh, just because of the motors that are in the legs. And obviously, using like a butcher block top like this, it's just adding more to the weight. So, sliding the desk, moving it around, taking it in and out so I can add more cables just became uh, a chore, not to mention potentially ruining your carpet as well. Uh, just because it is that heavy. So I decided to pick up a couple of sliders that you can put underneath the feet of the desk. I ended up finding them at Target actually, and they ended up being the perfect size for exactly what I needed. And on top of these uh, feet, they, they do have a, uh, an adhesive on the top so that you can stick them to them so that they don't come off. It is pretty sticky, but imagine just because of the weight of the desk, it's like basically glued on there now. So if you want to keep them on there, that's up to you. I would imagine removing them is going to be pretty difficult. So cross that bridge when I get there. But if you just need to kind of move your desk to a specific position and you plan on leaving it there forever, I wouldn't recommend sticking to them. I would just place them on top and that, that should allow you to move it pretty easily. I decided just to stick them to mine. It wasn't the biggest deal to me, but just one little pro tip, another issue that I ran into is I didn't necessarily tighten the feet <laughs> before I stuck them on, which moving it around back and forth would kind of cause them to twist. And I realized, I thought that the adhesive wasn't that strong and it just shifted, but it was just acting the fact that the, the foot itself of the desk could spin, you know, obviously higher or lower if you need to, if the desk is on uneven ground. So just make sure those are nice and tight before you line it up perfectly square. That's kind of just something I have to deal with now. Not the biggest deal in the world. And not to mention, you can't really notice the sliders uh, that much unless you're really looking for it. So it doesn't really bother me much. But yeah, I gotta say this whole cable, manager, cable management project <laughs> turned out way better than I could have hoped for. I know you can see the power cord plugging into the surge protector just a little bit, uh, depending on the angle and the height of the desk, uh, but that's totally fine with me. And I gotta say, it, it, I couldn't be happier. So thank you, Edward Lee. I definitely appreciate your video. It definitely made a huge difference. And because your video was so detailed, I was actually able to execute this myself. So, so a big thank you to him. If you guys haven't seen his video somehow and you're watching this before his, I'll definitely link it down in the description uh, so you guys can check that out. But yeah, that about does it for this one, guys. And if you guys did enjoy this video and got something out of it, got you pretty excited possibly to, to do your own cable management project for your own desk, uh, definitely hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.